Let's unbox all the Calibrite devices in their portfolio. This is Artist Right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. If you haven't heard of Calibrite before, let's quickly bring you up to speed. The name itself is short for Calibration Done Right. Extremely clever. It is a newly formed color management company with a group of investors who have been working closely with X-Rite for the past 20 years, and they genuinely care about the creative market and want us to have a great color management solution going forward. So they have formed Calibrite and partner up with X-Rite directly. This is also done because X-Rite has recently announced a strategy change to focus more on print and product packaging. So with this partnership, X-Rite is transitioning the entire X-Rite photo and video product portfolio over to Calibrite. The devices that we have known before as i1 are now going to change in name to Color Checker. So Calibrite is the main company and the product itself is going to be known as Color Checker. And these are the devices that I have in front of me. These are all the calibration devices and they look extremely similar to the X-Rite devices because on the inside, they're pretty much exactly the same with the only changes being the branding on the outside. Calibrite software going forward is still using X-Rite core technology. So all the math for all the great color management is still using X-Rite tech on the back end. This also means that if you currently have an X-Rite device, they will continue to function with Calibrite software going forward. And Calibrite will also be providing the warranty and support going forward as well for any X-Rite device that you may have. Now, I want to unbox these devices to give you an idea. If you go out today and get a new Calibrite device, what comes in the box, what they look like, and quickly talk about the overall product portfolio that they have. I have four products in front of me. Three of these are colorimeters, meaning that they will only calibrate displays and projectors. This last one here is a color spectrophotometer. This will do display projectors and also paper profiling. If we want to divide this a little bit further, we have to talk about the Calibrite Color Checker Pro product and the Calibrite Color Checker Studio product. So they use two different sets of software to do the calibration. This is using Calibrite CC Profiler, which is an advanced software that you can go in and pretty much granularly control your calibration. And with this, you only have devices that can calibrate display. On the other side of things, you have these two devices that uses Color Checker Studio software. It is pretty much an advanced calibration made easy. Simply said, you're not gonna get as many controls as you would with the CC Studio software comparing it to CC Profiler. In addition, with CC Profiler, you can go in and run a profile validation. This is something that you cannot do with the CC Studio software. Beyond that, let's have a look at the devices itself. So on the pro side, we have the Color Checker Display Plus and the Color Checker Display Pro. If you want the very top of the line, the best color calibration device, Color Checker Display Plus would be the one to look at. So let's pull these products to the side for a moment here and let's unbox the Color Checker Display Plus first. Right, inside the box for the Color Checker Display Plus, which looks like this, you will get a quick manual, a thanks from Calibrite for buying their product, which is awesome. And you will also get a USB Type A to USB Type C adapter should you have the new Macintosh that have USB Type C only, or if your computer is USB Type C only. Pretty much these are the devices that we're looking at right here. You see the Color Checker on the side, Display Plus, and you will always see powered by X-Rite printed on the device itself. So even though this is a Calibrite device, it is pretty much using X-Rite core technology on the back end. All right, so let's pull this out of the box and let's move on with unboxing the other products. Color Checker Display Pro. This is the next device down from the Color Checker Display Plus. The difference between this device, the Color Checker Display Plus, and the Pro is that the Display Plus can calibrate displays that are up to 2,000 nits in brightness. This one can only do 1,000 nits. And the other thing too is that the Color Checker Display Plus can do video gamma calibration at BT1886, where the Color Checker Display Pro cannot do that. So let's unbox this. And again, very similar setup to what you have seen before 
we get the little manual, we get a thank you card, we get the device itself. But pretty much you will see there on the side it says Color Checker Display Pro, pretty much very similar to the other device and very similar to X-Rite devices that have come before this. Now let's move on to the Color Checker Display. Pull this out of the box. And again, very similarly, you're gonna get the manual that pretty much covers all three products. It's just that the software is slightly different. A little thank you card and also telling you where to download the software from Calibrite website forward slash downloads. And the device again, as you see here, very similar to the i1 Display CEO that we have seen before and very similar to all the other devices, still powered by X-Rite under the Calibrite brand name. And let's have a look at our last device here. This is the Color Checker Studio from Calibrite. So Color Checker Studio does come with a few more things. When we open this up, you will see that. Starting out, the first thing you're gonna get is pretty much the device itself. So we're gonna pull this out here. And it comes in a case very similar to the i1 CEO before this. You will see this is so that you can hang it from the display to do display calibration. You can also pull this out of the holder so that you can do printer profiling. So this works really great for that. And you will see that it has Calibrite brand naming and Color Checker Studio there in the very front. On the back there, you sit, still get Calibrite and also powered by X-Rite logo. So that is still there. I'll leave this outside for now. This comes with a cable that you can use. It is a USB type A and on the device itself, very similar to the one before, this is a USB type B. So, and below that, we get a few more things. So we get a little thank you card telling us where to download the software. And also we get the Color Checker Classic, which is this little card here. So that was a quick setup change, but I wanted to show you right now beyond just unboxing that the devices that you see on the table at the moment will continue to work with color checker software going forward without any issues. So these devices, these four, the Pro devices, the Color Checker Display Pro, very identical to the i1 Display Pro, and also the Color Checker Display Plus, very identical to the i1 Display Pro Plus. These are gonna go forward and use Color Checker Profiler software, and they will continue to function without any issues. Moving over onto this side of the device, one of the devices that I don't have here is a Color Monkey display. But all the devices here, these six, well, one of them that's invisible right now, the Color Monkey display, will continue to work with CC Studio software or Color Checker Studio software without any issues whatsoever. So you can see that the Color Checker display is very similar to the i1 Display Pro that have come before it. In fact, like I said before, it is the exact identical devices. So if you already have that, you don't really need to go out and purchase a new one. They will continue to work without any issues. And here we have the Calibrite solution. So this is the CC or Color Checker Studio, i1 Display Studio, and Color Monkey Photo or Color Monkey Design. These will continue to work with Color Checker Studio software without any issues. I hope that you find this helpful. Questions or comments below, give this a like, subscribe, and hit on the bell if you're new. And until next time, in Art We Trust.